I bought this shop a couple years ago and I got the ends enclosed, the 12 by 12 door put on and that's as far as I went. I wanna do a six inch slab at 4,500 PSI. That way I can pull trucks in here. I wanna do a 10,000 pound lift in the future in the back. But yeah, this, look at this beautiful thing. 30 by 50, 30 by 50 and yeah. See, there used to be electric in here, now there's not. The house over there used to own this building. I bought the property with the building. They cut the electric off, so we need to dig a trench from that transformer out there around here and back up to where it used to go in. Concrete, foam insulation, electric are the main things to get this done. I'm budgeting around $16,000 to get this building to where I can be working on stuff in here. It's almost a shame to scrap this. Look, it's like brand new copper straight. It's like, what am I gonna do with it? You know, you get to the point, you just keep saving stuff and this this is your life right here. Look at, this is what you got. Spaghetti dinner. You know, saving that stuff for years. Think I get rich off of it? Yeah, right. actually popped the breaker huh pull these big wires off the screwdrivers are junk All right, so we're 40 inches on that. And that's exactly, the floor needs to be, you know, because you can see where the door shuts. And I have to make sure, because that's shut. So if I make it too high, then the door won't shut all the way. I make it too low, I'm gonna have a gap at the bottom. So that's gonna be to the top of the concrete. So we wanna be 46 inches to get six inches of concrete. There's 46 right there. All right, that's 46. Just so I have an idea. So yeah, some of it's really high. Throughout this whole section, now I know when I'm grading off, I could get it pretty close. That bucket's six foot wide. Let's run the machine, try to get this part done and keep moving our way over at that point. It will get easier.
46. All right, so that's all right at 46. I think I'm a little deep right here, but it's not a big deal. I can back grade it. No, I'm really not. It's actually good. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Alright, so this whole area is 46, so that's perfect. So I'll have to shovel out, clean around the edges, which I can shovel into that little low spot over there. But so far, going good. Actually, I might do it by hand. Oh, that's too hard to rig. We're not raking. Too hard to rig. We'll be here all day long. No, all right, rake it down. Ew. What? Is... You want to get back in the skid steer?
I kind of just went buck wild in here and got over all the way to this section, but I haven't shot anything yet, so let's get that done. Alright, so I went ahead and put a mark on this board at 46. I'm just tired of using a tape measure, I think it's done. So. It's good. I'm not really worried about a half inch. To be honest with you. Six inches of concrete is plenty enough at 4,500 PSI. We got a lot to dig out here. Look at that. All those piles. All right. Yep. Try to get the pocket in there a little bit because it's gonna take forever kind of trouble it.
I do a nine foot lift, the legs will be about there. So do that a little more concrete, but I gotta get the stone out of here. This is a bigger gauge industrial mesh. So it's thicker. Then I uh, rebar drilled every two feet, three feet all the way down. Fit it closer here in the door. Oh, all the way around the perimeter. Only issue we're having. I told the concrete guy last night, I said the door is only 12 feet. How tall are the trucks? The trucks are 13.3, if anybody's wondering. So they can't drive in here because they won't clear my door. They're, they have a little buggy and they're going to buggy it and dump it until they could get to where the chute is. always ran and now we need it and it won't run Shut them off. Right. Oh, it does?
prepped it good. <laughs> hey, I was here when you were doing it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Three trucks, last one. They'll work up to the door and then let it sit. And then they'll hit it with the power trowel. Check this out. Awesome job. Awesome job. Big shout out to TruTex, T-R-U-T-E-X-T, -E LLC, for pouring this slab. Thanks for doing a good job, man. This came out awesome. Definitely happy with it. They were here real late, made sure it was done right. My name, my wife, and my kids, you know? That'll be, that'll be there forever. I noticed this got bent here, and I don't think it goes down far enough for the hole. It shuts all the way. Yeah, it shuts all the way. is we won't want it that high. Do what happens. Perfect. All right, that's gonna be it for this video, but I do want you guys to comment on what I should do about spray foaming this and trying to hide it. I mean, some people say if you get a good spray foam guy and you seal it, you can put the fire retardant paint on it and paint it white, because I want all this white. I also thought about putting the purlings on the wall, so like over there, that two by four, so basically running two by fours down they would have to be screwed from the outside and uh, you know with a rubber washer self tapper and put purlings every three foot all the way around then have a spray foam and then get some white metal roofing and steel whatever and then it would bend around and they're three foot wide so you would have white um, you know you could put I could cut them like this so the lines go up and down and then make it go this way all the way around but i don't know i just want some ideas you know if there was some nicer insulation that was white i don't know so guys make sure you write in a comment what you would do with the inside of this place to make it 
look as nice as possible. You know, obviously that wall and this back wall here is uh, super easy to do whatever I want to do because it's flat. And, but this, this rounded steel part, that's what I'm trying to figure out. So give me some ideas in the comment. Maybe I'll use one of your ideas. And uh, so that's it. This is beautiful. I'll catch you guys on the next one.